I'm sitting alone for 6 a.m. and I'm not getting up a minute before. Christmas past. Of course. I know what was the best Christmas of your childhood. And I know what you found in a certain cardboard box. Christmas, Nita. What is it? Merry Christmas, Benita. <gasps> oh, it's a puppy. Oh. <gasps> I had forgotten all about him. Well, you've been busy with more important things. Why waste mental energy remembering some little mutt? He was not a mutt. Hi. Thank you, Daddy. Mom. Oh, oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> I never realized that the house was so small. What, you want it to be a mansion? I didn't want it to be anything but what it was. This is the best Christmas ever, Daddy. Best one for me, too. Why are you so happy? I'm the one that got the puppy. And I got the girl who got the <laughs> puppy. <laughs> you know, there's all kinds of pleasure in this world, Nita. But the best kind of all is this. Giving something special to the ones you love. It's hard for me to do while I was away in the army. Were you lonely without us, Daddy? Warren, you'll never know, girl. But where are you going to get the money to start a grocery store, for Lord's sake? It'll be a partnership. I've been talking this up to my buddies in the Army for a year. We can each get a GI loan and share the work. But we may have to borrow just a little more capital, but we can do that. Your father never had a business before, did he? <laughs> of course not. But she loved him too much to object. And you? My friend at school says that her daddy says that you're asking for trouble. Is that right? Mm-hmm. What does he mean? Well, some people may think that colored folks shouldn't open stores. Well, there's always going to be people like that. Seems that just being alive is asking for trouble. I remember how it all started to go wrong. One of his friends backed out to go up north, and the other one started a laundromat. So what if the others backed out? I'll find some other partners. I mean, this is still a good idea. I just got to hold on to that building. I paid the rent in advance. Hey. Hey, Benita, you still got that piggy bank your grandma gave you? Mm, well... You didn't lose it, did you? She hid it from me. You and your nosy friends. Well, you can hide it anywhere you want to, as long as you keep track of it, huh? Yeah, well, the only one in this family any good at saving money. Hey, you can tell me how much you got. 
79 cents. 79. Mostly pinks. Hey, how about a loan, huh? <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> so that's how you learned about loans. That's how I learned that hopes and dreams are nothing without money. Here you go. You kids know how much we're saving by doing this ourselves? Ten dollars? Uh, sixteen dollars. A dollar a day. Four dollars times four people. <laughs> saving a lot more than that, I can tell you. Yeah, you kids keep helping out like this. I'll make sure you both get some pennies for your piggy bank, huh? Hey, Perry. Don't forget that trim there. I don't need to see any more of this. You need to see more of yourself. More of how you cared. Here, Uncle Remus paused, opened wide his mouth, and closed it again in a way that told the whole story. Do you like that one? Yeah. Yeah. How much does Daddy really need to start his grocery store? More than we have, that's for sure. Well, what if he doesn't get it all? Now, let's just cover up and get some sleep. But what if he doesn't get it? He will. Don't worry. Wish I had more than 79 cents. We wish we all did, Nita. We wish we all did. Please. Please stop this. I can't. Why did he ever want to go in there again? To save your future. Let us handle it. Stay back. Where's George? Where is he? Did he go in there? That's what happened. Did he go in there? Do we have any more butter? I'll try to get some tomorrow. Look here. The folks down the road gave us a few eggs. Isn't that nice? When Daddy died, not only did he leave us without money, but he left us owing more money than we could find, except from selling the house that Grandma left us when she died. Now it's gone. It's gone. Dear Brother Perry, I just want you to see this last letter I got from Mama. It came the day after she died. I kept it in my hands all through the funeral. So you went north? Had to. After what happened to Daddy, I was determined to make it on my own. To never rely on anyone else. I was also wishing you could have come back. But I know the army has lots of rules. <laughs> Daddy sure taught us that. 
He would have been proud of you, I'm sure. Even though you said you never heard of Saigon before you went. Well, I didn't know much about Providence, Rhode Island before either. But here I am. The only Providence I ever heard much about was in church. And that had to do with providing the good things in life. Hope that's what this town's gonna do for me. But first, I have to find a job. Victorian of my high school class. Mm. And then I went on to commercial college for two years, majoring mm. in accounting and bookkeeping. Mm. I've always been good at math. Molly was a master, though. Hard first rules, never smile at an applicant, or try to make things easier for them. The more desperate they are, the cheaper they'll work. <laughs> I'm also very good at managing money. I never lose anything, and I'm a great saver. <laughs> My brother Perry used to call me Stingy Benji when we loaned him more money. Stingy Benji? <laughs> How much do you want? Stingy. Little did I know I had used the magic word. <laughs> you mean to work here? Hmm. Huh. Well, I... I don't know. You mean you don't have a goal? Oh, oh, yes. I have lots of goals. Lots of ambition. I just don't know what the prevailing... Minimum rate. wage, apprentice bookkeeper. That's my offer. Minimum? Hmm. But I've invested in a lot of training. Then you know the importance of market conditions. Labor is a buyer's market right now. Too many people looking for work drive wages down. Nature has laws built in. So does business. Well... I, I like to think about it overnight and maybe call you tomorrow. Tomorrow, someone else will be sitting in that chair. Take it or leave it. Today. Never bargained for less than the maximum. When do you start in the morning? Early. Edna will tell you what to do. was the start of it all. It was also the start of something else. Hmm. Oh. That's so funny. You uh, just walked under a ladder. Huh? Oh. So? That's supposed to mean bad luck. You look much too bright to be superstitious. That's good. <laughs> good enough to buy you a coffee? Yeah, I guess. By the way, my name is Steve. Except for my tennis racket. <sighs> no, I can't believe this. Just bought it last week so I could learn to play this stupid game with you. I thought you were Miss Organization. Mm, that's only with money and papers. I lose everything else. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, you're not gonna lose me anytime soon. Oh? So just relax. Mm. If we can't play tennis, 
we could always get our exercise some other way. Wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. No, no, my total is... $1,634.78. Well, you better go check your calculations. Why you? Because I don't make mistakes. Not with numbers, at least. Well, that's our final offer. Take it or leave it. Benita. I like to give my employees a little feedback now and then. Little critique. You don't mind that, do you? Oh, no, I'm always eager to know how I can do better. Good. I would suggest a few things. A, don't dress excessively feminine. Buy more business-like clothes. With what? I could barely eat with those wages. B, don't treat the customers as friends. It just muddies the waters. Just look at her. Counting all that money right in front of her. She knew exactly what she was doing. And C, learn to value yourself more. Demand respect from other people and you will get it. And D, now don't faint. I'm about to promote you. I seldom promote people quickly because most people learn slowly or not at all, but you're different. You produce. Oh, thank you, Miss Marley. As of today, it's Maud. Now, do you prefer Benita or your full name? Either one's fine. Well, I think you should go by Ebenita here. It's more dignified. Nothing cute about it. Whatever you think is more suitable. Well, you see, I have to think of our image here. And if someone asks for the head bookkeeper, you don't want them to get a name that sounds cute. <gasps> head bookkeeper? On a trial basis, of course. And your salary will not go up the first month. Until I have had time to see how well you handle all this added responsibility. I'm opening a branch office, which should increase business significantly, as well as the workload. Here is a complete job description. Memorize that. That's all for today. Um, this position of head bookkeeper, what does it pay? It's a 30% raise from where you are now. And uh, what's the next position up after that? Ebenita, what are you trying to do? Climb the whole corporate ladder in one day? Just learning to value myself more. Maud? <laughs> Looks like your boss over there. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Her teeth aren't that long and pointed. Hmm? Actually, she's not that bad. Not that bad. Hmm? She makes Ivan the terrible look not that bad. <laughs> she's been working you to the bone since that promotion. I know, I know. But she pays on time, and the checks never bounce. OK. So I have some poor clients, and I work for some nonprofit group. Listen, you are going to be nonprofit if you don't watch out. That's one of the things I want to talk to you about. What? You're going to bankruptcy? Benita, I'm going back to the South. Things are starting to change there, and they need lawyers like me. It'll be difficult for a while, but it's also going to be very exciting. I want you to come with me. <laughs> I want us to get married. I don't have an actual job yet, but I have a lot of contacts. <laughs> I haven't even picked out a city yet. We could do that together. You could probably find a job anywhere with your skills. I mean, maybe not as much money in the beginning, but... But, but what? What? Why should I go back to being a beginner again? Well, I guess I thought you would for us, for the possibility of starting a life together. <gasps> us. Yeah. That's a complicated little word. See, you're trying to fit two different people's ideas and needs and goals and patience into two little letters. That's not easy. How about love? Doesn't that make everything possible? I wish I could believe it does. My mom and my daddy, they loved each other, and that got them through a lot. But without the money my daddy needed, things just fell apart. My mama lived with a broken heart for the rest of her life. It won't be like that for us. 
What are you, a lawyer or a fortune teller? I'm the man who loves you. And I'm asking you to take a chance with me. Why am I the one that's take the chance? Hm? To go backwards. So being with me is going backwards? See, that's not what I meant and you know it. You just twisted my words. That was the last time you saw him. Fine. Yes, I let him go. I thought that I could get over Steve. After all, I had other family. Perry was down from Vietnam in a couple of months, and I thought... He never made it. <laughs> 